Hi, this is Jason from Gene Codes Corporation. We've just released our latest version, Sequencer 5.3, DNA sequence analysis software for Sanger and next generation sequencing data. Today, I'm going to show you some of the new features in Sequencer 5.3. The biggest addition to Sequencer 5.3 is the cufflink suite for RNA seq analysis, including differential expression. As with our other NGS tools, Sequencer provides a user-friendly interface for using these command line programs. The Cufflinks programs have many advanced options and our interface helps make RNA-seq expression analysis easier and more accessible. I'd like to briefly show you how to look at differential expression in Sequencer. The first step is realigning your reads with Cufflinks. You go to RNA-seq using Cufflinks. You tell Sequencer where your reads file is. I'm also going to select a reference file since we have one. If you click on the advanced button, you have all sorts of advanced parameters that you can select here. You can turn them on and off. And so these are the command line arguments that you would have to type out exactly if you were running this without our interface. And then we'll go ahead and click Analyze. And since we're looking at differential expression, we'll then need to repeat this step for the corresponding set of late reads as well. The second step is merging the output files with Cuff Merge. I'm going to open the external data browser, which we can use to track our progress throughout the process. You can see the two Cufflinks runs I did here. And I've added notes telling me that these are the early reads and the late reads from experiment 17. I'll click on Assemble, Merge Cufflinks Alignments with Cuff Merge. I'll select my transcripts files. Now I know that these two most recent runs were the ones that I'm interested in, but if I wasn't sure of that, I could use the external data browser to tell me that those were the two run names that I was looking for. And select a reference file. And then I select Merge. The third step is testing for differential expression using CuffDiff. I go to RNA-seq differential expression using CuffDiff. I select the original BAM files that I used in CuffLinks. I select the merged file from CuffMerge. And I know that this was the run whose merge file I'm interested in using. But again, if I wasn't sure, I could go back to the external data browser to confirm that. And I'm going to select a file as a GTF mask file. And I also, again, have some advanced options that I could use if I was interested in doing that. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and use the default options and click Analyze. The fourth step is to view the results. Sequencer has a number of visualization tools that allow you to view your results without having to use the command line. I go to View, Display RNA-Seq Data and Plots, and then select the data that I'm interested in viewing. In this window, in the top pane, you see the data in tabular form, and on the bottom pane, you have the plots and charts. You can choose from the volcano plot, the bar chart, or a scatter plot. In each case, if you click on a dot or bar, it will take you to that point in the data table so that you can investigate further. Now, I would like to show you Sequencer Connections. Connections was introduced in Sequencer 5.2 and can be used with Sanger or NGS DNA sequence data. 
Sequential Connections allows you to simultaneously run multiple analyses on individual sequences or groups of sequences in parallel. For individual sequences, you can do blast searches of the NCBI databases, local blast searches of databases on your machine, and primer blast searches to design primers over a region of interest. For groups of sequences, you can run muscle alignments and view the results as the aligned sequences or as a phylogram. Sequenter Connections is now more flexible and customizable in Sequenter 5.3. You can now open existing connection sessions, and add sequences to existing sessions. Each session can be given a custom name, In connection sessions for groups of sequences, you can now change the name for the group. In connection sessions for individual sequences, there are now more options for adding channels. And you can give each channel a custom name. This has been a brief introduction to the new features of Sequencher 5.3. Download Sequencher 5.3 at genecodes.com and request a 30-day evaluation license to try them out today.